Hey everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO at TotalGenius.net, and I work with people to position your life experience and expertise into a profit generating business. So today I wanted to give you uh, one question that you can actually ask yourself right after this call to transform your results, transform your confidence, and actually transform your marketing. And I'm gonna tell you how this all ties together and kind of explain what it is. Deep inside, I think uh, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I want to um, really help you get what you want. So if you'd like to share this with anyone, I would very much appreciate that and invite other people who wanna get what they want in their business um, to, you know, make it work. Because the reality is, and I know this is true for uh, my tribe, for the people that I speak to, is that you have lots of experience. Either you've worked in a prior job, you have some training, you know, maybe you have your health certification, um, you've, you've done work and you've experienced success in your life. And for some reason, there seems to be a block between what you actually want like the thing that keeps you up at night that, you're, that you can't sleep about, those things are, um, are blocking you. And, uh, and so the people that I work with, they have all this experience and then they have all this knowledge and then you learn all this new things and it just becomes kind of a jumbled mess in your head. And so you have all these ideas, they're swarming around and, there just seems to be not enough time in the day. And so this is why people say, you know, oh, I wish I had, uh, you know, 24 more, 24 more hours in a day. And the reality is, is this is called simplifying what you actually should be focused on. And then first knowing what it is that you should be focused on. So I like to refer to it as the thing behind the thing. So you're a very purposeful person, you have lots of expertise, and you know, you've reached your goals before, so you know how to set goals. But setting goals that, uh, first of all, are worthy of you, second of all, have a strategy behind them, and then third of all, being able to eliminate distraction to get those goals done are, necessary things that you have to implement to that strategy. But the real problem is that you're focused on a goal. You're focused on a goal that is, is like the one right in front of you. So, you know, one of the things that many people struggle with is to get clients. You want to make money, you want to get clients. So, Many people are teaching you to build a list, to do your social media, to learn all these different things about having a business. You've got to do a webinar. You've got to do all these things. And it floods your brain with a lot of things that you got to do in order to get to the other side. And so what I find, at least that I know when I work with my clients, is that when you're so focused on all those different things that you need to do, that um, even though you may start your business with an end goal, like you know you have your mission, you have your purpose, you have it, it's more than you just want to pay the rent. Like you actually want to have a business you love, doing what you're really good at that inspires you every day. You know you see people that are like they look really inspired they they seem to be you know doing well and and um and so all of the things you know you lose the focus on what you actually do well and what you actually want i call that the thing behind the thing because you have this thing inside of you that is the end goal it's where you actually want to be. And what ends up getting in the way is all of these other things. 
And then what ends up happening is distraction and all the things and all the knowledge. And it almost like builds a wall between you and your real end goal. It's the thing behind the thing. And so you become consumed with doing, you know, building the list and and getting clients and all of those things. And when you're focused on doing things, uh, you miss the strategy that needs to happen in order to reach your end goal. And so this is, you know, the one question I want you to ask yourself today is, what is my end goal? Like in three to five years, what do you want to be doing in your business? You know, oh, I want to be sitting on a beach. No, 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 no. I mean, really, like what do you want to be doing on a daily basis with your business? Because you can't just like, you know, make money and then stop. The goal in, in everything is to find something that makes you inspired so that your marketing is easy, who you work with is easy, you relate to them is easy. So you know exactly what you need to learn and you everything else is like distraction. You're so inspired to, uh, to help people because you've been through something similar. You know, everybody, what they really buy, they buy a solution. They, they don't buy just what you sell because in fact, they buy you. They buy that thing behind the thing because you, they feel like you over everyone else has their solution. And that's called, you know, being attracted to your personality which makes then your marketing very different. And so when you're focused on the end goal in your marketing, it simplifies what your marketing is because you already know what it is that you need to teach and then you need to just show up as you. This is, this is some, you know, people make marketing way more difficult than, than it really needs to be is that, you know, you need to understand that the purpose of marketing, the purpose of getting something out there is to get somebody uh, to feel something inside that makes them feel like you have that answer. They buy the, the, if you can, people buy a transformation. I hate using the word transformation because it makes it sound so big. But people are buying the end result. So just like I'm asking you, what is your, the end result that you want? You know, I, I'm bringing this up because I have talked to a number of people just this weekend. And I'm, I, I've identified where they're stuck. And it's, it's that thing behind the thing. They, they, they started off with that focus on the end goal. And then they just became consumed in the doing and the learning that they lost who they were before they started their business. And they became so consumed with making money. And money is important, don't get me wrong. But nobody is going to pay you so that you can make money. Nobody's going to pay you so that you can make money. So if you're just trying to sell something, you're just trying to post prices out there, you're just trying to um, give away stuff for free. None of that is the solution to actually making money. First of all, you, first of all, you need to understand what your end goal is. You know, I want to, and then, you know, what is that end goal? I want to be inspired every day working in my business where I change lives because I change the perception of the way people think about themselves. And then I help them understand the strategy to position themselves and their life experience into a business model that 
works, that gives them a plan of action so they know how to stay focused on their end goal. So their marketing is easy. That's my end goal. So right now I'm actually renovating my business and it's, uh, uh, you're welcome, Peter. I'm actually renovating my business because, uh, you know, I realized I, I may be just like you, <laughs> you know, I'm human and, uh, my business shifted. I started knowing the way I wanted to go. And then I, I just, um, I just became, uh, consumed in the learn when I started to, to pull away from what I was doing in my business so that I could, um, take, I guess more like pull away. I was just overworking. I had so many clients. It was ridiculous. And, uh, I realized, uh, a couple months ago that I, I had lost, uh, my end goal. And so, you know, everything is going fine. I'm getting clients, but I personally was just very, um, not happy. And, and so when I was going to bed at night, this may be happening to you is that I actually had worry on my mind. And it wasn't, I didn't know exactly what I was worried about. I was just, uh, it was just like, it just felt like, um, like things just didn't fit right until I finally realized why. And I, I started to really look back at, at who I was before I started my business, before I fell into Facebook. And I always say fell into it because I, I didn't, um, you know, I wasn't raised on Facebook. And, uh, and I definitely was somebody else before I, I fell into the entrepreneurial world on Facebook. And so I started to reclaim, um, you know, who I was. And this is what I see many people, uh, experiencing and why they may be making money, but they're not making the amount of money they should be, not with all that expertise and life-changing strategies. And uh, part of it is they've been, they become so consumed in what they think is marketing, which is, you know, they think they have to teach. They think they have to um, keep giving all this information to people so that they'll finally see their value. And, you know, this is something I want you to remember is that, you already are high value that lives here inside of your heart and your gut. Everything that you already know and everything that you are, this is like your being, your, who you are as a person is of high value. And somebody who is of high value doesn't need to do things to prove that high value. You want to share so that you can transform your clients and, and, and uh, help people who you know you can help, but you don't have to prove what you do or who you are. This is the secret to positioning. You actually show up as the leader that lives inside of here and here. There's no affirmation that's going to get you your positioning. I'm good enough. I'm good enough. It's not that. You are good enough and you know it. You're just um, worried about people's response. That's like what fear is. Fear of judgment. Fear of uh, what, what may happen if you show up as you. Even if you're the most confident social person, people ultimately fear judgment from others. That's just a human biological response. It's nothing that you did. It's just the way we humans are. It goes back to caveman days that if you were out, ousted by the tribe, that you got eaten by the lions because everybody blocked you out of the cave. Well, there is no cave anymore. In fact, you own the cave. It's your cave. This is your business. This is, you know, freedom that everyone wants, that's called what we have, which is a business. You can say anything, do anything, 
And when it's positioned right and you have the right strategies and you have and you know that end goal, it takes perseverance doing it over and over again, standing in your power and understanding that everybody is human. So just as you want something at the end, so do your clients. This, that's how you understand how they want to feel. If everybody, so everybody wants a transformation. <laughs> that includes you. That includes me. That includes the people that you're meant to serve. And this is so genius, is that the people you're meant to serve are just like you, which means all those things that you say after you log offline, damn, I wish I could change the world by teaching them that it's just in their mind. Damn it. Why can't they see that, um, you know, fixing their diet will fix their mind? Like, if it, that, that it's just how they think about food. All those thoughts that you have in your head and then yet you do other things in your marketing because somebody told you that that's what you need to do. Every time you have those thoughts in your head, oh, I should have done that. Or, damn, I wish I could say that out loud. Say it out loud. <laughs> they want exactly what you want. So, you know, the fear of letting something go to let other things in, it's like, I don't know if you've ever like cleared out a drawer or a closet or something. And it's like, ah, oh, I just feel so much lighter. Or you cut off your hair. <laughs> like you change something and you let it go, you know, even though you're scared, it allows new things to come into your life. You know, I had a client, now that I, I saw a name, <laughs> I had a client who was so blocked by this issue in her brain and so we were trying to build her business, but this thing kept getting in her way. And it was, you know, had to do with something that she was fighting for in her life. And it just kept making things confusing. And so, we, you know, we'd have a session and then it was just like this lack of clarity. You know what? We fixed it. And she's on fire now. I haven't talked to her lately, but <laughs> she's on fire. Because we removed that block. A block is not, you know, I have a money block, I have this thing. That's not what a block is. A block actually is something inside of you that is afraid to be let out or that you feel you can't say, do, or be out loud. You know, everybody's uh, tuned in to WIFIFM. As Seth Godin says, what's in it for me, that includes you. So, you know, what's in it for you? If you stay um, not speaking up or, uh, or quiet or, or just doing the work, doing your social media, what's in it for you? You then don't have to worry about people hating you, uh, people judging you, um, but the reality is, is when that happens, uh, you may make money and you may get clients, but inside you're going to have this like, uh, you know, I'm so bored or I, you know, why can't I? This frustrating thing that's blocking you. Everything lives on the other side of fear. You know, and that's like a, a common quote, but knowing and doing are two different things, you know, uh, doing something that scares you is like getting rid of something. It's like removing that block so that then you can, uh, you know, I, I don't, okay, I know. Like, have you ever been driving or, or you know, trying to park and there's like a cone in the way or a car in the way? And if you just remove that block, it's like, oh, I could just slide into the space or, you know, that's what um, these blocks are. And you don't just remove one and then you're like, woohoo, I'm free, you know. It's a daily practice. I say life is a daily practice. Your confidence is a daily practice. Understanding who you are is a daily practice. It truly is. Everyone talks about alignment. You know, 
the reason why chiropractors are addictive, why people you know feel like they have the answer, is, is you know a doctor explained this to me is that they actually move your back or whatever it is out of alignment. So so if you're you know hunched over or whatever, like you know you have a crook in your back, that's like what your back is naturally trying to do. And when a chiropractor you know like fixes you, they like lift your bones out. They actually put you in a position that is uncomfortable because you're now not used to standing up straight. And so, in fact, you think you're in alignment, but until you learn to stand in that alignment, you actually feel um, you're actually out of alignment to how you naturally, you know, if you're like hunched over like this. So they may be fixing you. But you may just keep like going into that old position because that's the position your body was aligned to be. You can do you can relate to that as like your self identity. You you've lived your life, and if you're human, you've had challenges, right? You've had challenges in your life that have made you who you are. This is why my business is based on epigenetics. The study of how the outside environment impacts our cells to the biological level. And that means that your environment, the food you eat, all those things affect uh, your biology and they change your genetics. This is why disease happens, all this, that. So, you know, epigenetics is often talked about in, in health. I mean, that is where it's talked about because it changes you at the biological level. Well, in fact, epigenetics actually changes who you think that you are as a person, which changes who you are. So you show up, you know, you, our personalities are made between the ages of zero and seven. So all these things, you know, how people treat you, what you ate, uh, you know, became who you think you are, who your friends are, what they say to you. And so it's like that crooked back. So you've learned to be a certain way because you then become the certain way people treat you the certain way and it's like this loop that that you know you you think you are who you are this crooked back but the reality is is that you're like you should be like this because that's the way that, that you were meant to be you know i always tell people and what i have this is your e2 personal blueprint that you were born if you were so 95% of people are born perfect. That's just like, that's, that's fact. You're born with perfect genetics, but there's all this disease and cancer and all that because you end up picking up all those an outside environment, the nutrition and all of that. And if you, if 95% of people were born perfect, 95% of people were born with a perfect dream that you were born with a dream and a purpose. To me, that's what purpose is. It's that you were born to do something in this world and to make a difference with your life so that at the end of your life, you say, I did good. I, I did my purpose. I changed someone's life because I lived, because I went through all that pain and suffering. And then I shared how I did it with somebody else. To me, you know, that's what being in alignment is. It's like you, you then are standing up t straight because you've, you've reconnected with that dream that you had. That's the end goal. So you, when you bring it down to your business, you know, you know inside what you want. And so if you work your way backwards, if, if you understand what it is that you want, then I want you to understand that what you want is actually what your clients want. If they are you before you discovered your solution, the solution they need to discover is how to get to the thing that you want in the end. So, you know, I'm sure you've heard TED Talks. They say ideas worth sharing. People share, follow, ideas they want to be attached to a cause 
So I don't mean like, you know, you have to go save animals even though I recommend that that be a great cause <laughs> of yours. But they want to, they want opinions. They, they want your opinion. They're going to buy what you believe because now you, you, with all your expertise and life experience, have all of these facts, figures, knowledge, tricks that you know because you're you. That's called marketing and living and speaking out loud. So your end goal is who you are and what you believe. And then you position that into your business. And you show up as you every day. Focus on that end goal. And then you speak those things. You do those things. You base your business and your daily tasks on those things. Not following some random people, not downloading the latest free, freebie opt-in because, you know, you think that that will get you clients. You know what will get you clients? is having an idea that they want to wrap themselves around. That they, will, that they don't want just a result that's right there. You don't want a result that's just right there. You do now. But what do you want in the end? This is working backwards. So I want you to... Ask yourself what your end goal is, and then I want you to ask yourself, what, did it, what is it that my clients really want? What is their thing behind the thing? They may want to fix the way their child eats, but what is it that they really want? For a mother, you know what that could be? Is that the confidence that they know that they are doing their best for their children. So you can teach them all the strategies, you know, to help them eat better and all of that. But if you can make the world a better place so that they, um, that they are, that they trust their own decisions when they go out to eat, when they go to the grocery store, if you can have a program that helps them understand that, that's called ha having them buy the feeling that they, the transformation that they want. So, you know, I, I could go on and on and on, but if that, you know, if I can just get you to do one thing, just ask yourself what that end goal is, write it down. Then I want you to go and look at your clients, who it is that, that you are meant to serve and want to serve. And then ask yourself, where are they now? And where do they really want to be? What is the feeling they, they want to go to bed at night feeling? And how can I give that to them? That'll give you clarity, confidence. And then when you apply all that you know about marketing to it and do the marketing that, that makes you positioned in your own mind as you're, you're living your purpose, I guarantee you that will produce your results. You know, this is getting out of your own way. It's, it's not as easy as just downloading the latest freebie opt-in. But I can guarantee you that if you keep showing up as you, and you keep focused on that purpose and you know what your ideal clients want, that that will produce you everlasting success not only in your bank account but in your mind okay so I hope that that's helped you you know if you have any questions come join me in my group the business luminaries I launched a new training that's gonna come out uh, on December 15th um, it's called own your niche and uh, you can find it at ownyourniche.totalgenius.net and um, that's it. Have a great week, everyone. Please share this. I would, I would love it if you would share it because so many people that need to hear it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.